I heard about this story only because people started complaining about it. But if you live in right wing echo chambers, you probably heard this story a ton this week. You may recall, or you may have heard Donald Trump gave a roast during the L. Smith dinner, which is a dinner in New York that promotes the Catholic Church and Catholic charities. Kamala Harris said she wasn't going to go because why would she? Donald Trump does not have lighthearted, self-deprecating roasts. He just does his rally insult comedy where he just says horrible things about everybody. So she didn't want to participate in person, as she should not have. Um, she sent in a video instead. And then Trump did exactly what everyone thought he would do, which is say really horrible things in front of these Catholic leaders who politely laughed and normalized him. It was horrible. But one of the jokes he made referenced this story that I want to talk about. Because let me first try to explain to you that there is a meme that is going around. And this is the old guy tries to explain a meme to the internet. I apologize. I know how cringeworthy this is. But basically, there is a meme on the internet where, on TikTok, for example, you might see a video of someone eating food, and then the camera pans out to show you this is not their hand. It's the hand of their friend who was feeding them, and they're very unhappy that they were the ones feeding the other person. And I will even show you what a couple of these looked like here. Uh, let me share this with you. Let's see if you could see this here. This is the article I was doing. Yeah, here's an example of it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but we're going to try anyway. This gentleman is eating something. What happened? unhappy friend. Okay, it's quick. I don't want to get demonetized because of the music. But people have been doing this. There's another uh, woman. She eats like a little salad. Camera pans out and you see her friend very unhappily feeding her. Conan, uh, I'm sorry, Stephen Colbert did this earlier this summer. He was promoting the show The Bear. Anyway, that's what the meme is. Is it funny? I don't know. It... I'm an old person. None of this makes any sense to me, but that is how memes work. So this last week, Gretchen Whitmer was out on the campaign trail trying to promote Kamala Harris, governor of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer, and she was on a podcast hosted by a woman named Liz Plank. So they did their interview, and I guess after the interview, the, the show is called Chip Chat, and after the show, the podcaster was like, hey, it would be funny if we did this meme. Why don't you feed me a chip and we'll kind of do this thing? I'm going to show you the video. Uh, this is the video they made. It's eight seconds long. Here you go. That's it. That's the entire video. Now, I don't even know that that fits the meme because when that first woman you saw was eating a chip. It didn't even look like her own hand, which defeats the purpose of it. But again, people trying to do a meme and not doing it well, that's not exactly news. But it did pan out to show you a very like unhappy Gretchen Whitmer who's like, well, how did I get dragged into this? Is it amusing? Eh, if you find memes amusing, maybe. I don't know. Your mileage may vary. That's how internet humor works, right? And after that eight-second video aired, all the right-wing people flipped out of their minds. This is a statement issued by the Michigan Catholic Conference right after that came out. Look at this. This skit goes further than the viral online trend that inspired it, specifically imitating the posture and gestures of Catholics receiving the Holy Eucharist in which we believe that Jesus Christ is truly present. It is not just distasteful or strange. It is an all too familiar example of an elected official mocking religious persons and their practices. What? Like, okay, even if you want to grant that they imitated like this woman's on her knees and she's being fed, in what world, how selfish and self-centered do you have to be to think that was our thing she was trying to do. No, it wasn't. It's just one woman feeding a chip to another person. 
it's not like it was a wafer. It's not like they they made a sign of the cross. Like no one else but these dudes were like, oh, she's doing a Catholic thing. But as soon as those guys complained that she was mocking Catholics, everyone jumped on it. <clears throat> and that's weird to me because, look, Gretchen Whitmer has no history or reason to go after Catholics. She's in Michigan. She's the governor of Michigan, a state that has a bunch of Catholics. I promise you, if she wanted to go after them, even she wouldn't try to do that because it would be stupid. So she wasn't doing it. If she wanted to offend the church, they would do something the Catholic church absolutely hates, like promoting women's reproductive health care, right? Like she wouldn't waste her time with a chip. That's dumb. Stephen Colbert, like I showed you, Stephen Colbert did the exact same stunt or meme. And a, he's like the most famous Catholic celebrity in the country. The, he was invited to meet Pope Francis. It wasn't a big deal. But as soon as conservatives had something to complain about, they all just jumped on it. This is the headline from the New York Post. Gretchen Whitmer apologizes for bizarre Dorito chip communion video that left Catholics seething. Like, I promise even Catholics didn't care about this. Here's Fox News. Michigan Catholic bishops condemn Whitmer's Doritos video stunt as offensive. And the subhead there, the Catholic leader statement said the clip represents the bar of civility and respect toward people of faith lowering by the day. Listen, if you think civility and respect toward people of faith is lowering by the day, blame Donald Trump for like roping them into his campaign not a governor who is feeding a chip to a podcaster to get some hits online. The most overblown outcry came from a group called the Catholic League, which has no affiliation with the church, and it's really just one dude in his basement who gets paid a million bucks a year. Uh, this is what Bill Donahue of that group said. What Whitmer did was to deride Holy Communion. There is no wiggle room for her to deny the obvious. What Whitmer did is political suicide. Like, my dude, it was an eight-second video. She was in, like, two seconds of it, and she was feeding a Doritos chip to somebody. If that's what it takes for political suicide, I can't wait to hear what these guys think about when, like, a president foments a coup because he can't stand losing. It's just utterly over-the-top, stupid uh, backlash. You know, political suicide would also be going to Detroit uh, and giving a campaign rally in Detroit, doing a campaign rally there, and then telling the audience how shitty Detroit is. That's something Donald Trump did. But, but as I showed you in that New York Post headline, the Whitmer camp apologized, which I don't think they needed to do, but maybe they just wanted to make sure... Nothing they're doing is distracting from the Harris ticket in Michigan. Over 25 years in public service, I would never do something to denigrate someone's faith. I've used my platform to stand up for people's rights to hold and practice their personal religious beliefs. My team has spoken to the Michigan Catholic Conference. What was supposed to be a video about the importance of the CHIPS Act to Michigan jobs, get it, CHIP, has been construed as something it was never intended to be, and I apologize for that. Okay, honestly, I know it's not much of an apology, but it, she never had anything to apologize for. But also, if you think she's just throwing the chip, CHIPS Act in there just to try to shield herself from backlash, that's not actually true because that video of her feeding the chip to the podcast host, here's the caption that went with it at the time. If he won't, Gretchen Whitmer will. Chips aren't just delicious. The CHIPS Act is a game changer for U.S. tech and manufacturing, boosting domestic production of semiconductors to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers. Donald Trump would put that at risk. That's the caption that went with the video that basically did the viral meme in order to promote the CHIPS Act to say, hey, vote for Kamala Harris because she can make this keep happening and Donald Trump won't. And I want to go back to what the Catholic League was whining about, they even, they totally know she's right. They totally know this is not a thing. But look at what Bill Donahue wrote. Whitmer's team 
and her allies in the media are trying to distort what she did. <clears throat> they are saying she was merely mimicking a popular trend on social media where people are shown feeding each other. Yeah. Some apologists even say this is being done to support the CHIPS Act, a bill that supports the semiconductor industry. This is a lie, and it is easy to disprove. <laughs> like, my dude, you were so close to getting it. You admitted it. You know exactly what they were doing, and now you're like, it's not about that at all, even though that's totally the thing you said it was when you posted it. Like, what the hell is wrong with all these people? The whole thing about conservatives is they will turn the smallest, dumbest things into culture war battles that take over the right wing like ecosystem, the media ecosystem. Remember when they got mad at Bud Light? Why? Because Bud Light sent one transgender influencer a six pack of beer with her name printed on the bottle and basically said, hey, in exchange, can you make a quick Instagram reel where you promote Bud Light? And the Instagram person made the video and people lost their shit. And then it became like a summer long boycott because conservatives don't have anything real to be upset about. So they make up stupid fake shit. And they find the dumbest small things like Donald Trump, I think this weekend said he's going to go to McDonald's. Why? Because he made up a lie that Kamala Harris never worked at McDonald's, even though she did. And the right wing world just ran with it. And now it's a whole campaign thing because they can't actually find things they don't like about her. So they just make shit up. This is what they do. If any of these people, Catholics included, gave a damn about desecrating religion, they could criticize Trump for the Trump Bible, which, by the way, is made in China, and for marking it up at a premium cost to sell to the dumbest people in the country. But none of these people are criticizing Trump or the Trump Bible because this is all a game for them. They don't actually care about any of this stuff. They are more upset about a governor feeding someone a Dorito chip than priests molesting kids in their own organizations. That alone is why you should never take them seriously. Okay? Ugh. Anyway, none of these people let facts ever get in the way of their complaints. And again, I wish this was just a Bill Donahue thing, because I know he's crazy. But again, it's not. This is not some fringe right-wing crazy thing. This is a whole, every conservative is jumping on board with this. And again, I brought this up at the beginning of this segment. At the L. Smith dinner, Donald Trump made a joke about like giving communion or the governor of Michigan giving someone communion. And that is the sort of joke that made no sense to anybody unless you live in a world where this is the biggest political story of the week. But that's like, that's what happens. Our media is entirely partisan. People don't necessarily know what the other side is even talking about. It's very frustrating. All right, what questions do we have? Oh, so Catholics think it's all about them. Okay. I want to be clear. Not all Catholics, right? Hashtag not all Catholics. It's conservative Catholics. It's the Catholics in power. Catholics who make a lot of money pretending to defend Catholicism from persecution. And none of this is any of that. You think she was persecuting Catholics by feeding someone a chip? No. Wait until they see our meme of the crucifixion. Shh. Don't tell them. That comes later. That's after the election. <laughs> Are Doritos now made with the body of Christ? I mean, listen, you give it to a priest, allow them to consecrate it. Who knows? It's all magic. It's all a game. Um, but I promise you it was not a consecrated Dorito chip that Gretchen Whitmer was using. So by their own definition, nope. Uh, Doritos and Mountain Dew for the Eucharist. Does the afterlife have a beer volcano? That You know what? More people would go to Catholic services if that's what they had to drink and eat. If you told me the body of Jesus was Mountain Dew, I don't know. I'd consider it for a couple minutes. We'll see. <laughs> 